Hey YouTube. It's Brooke and Carly. Say hi Carly. She's two months old today. It's going by so fast I just can't even believe it. But anyway, I just wanted to add her in the video so y'all can see how big she's getting. And um, I look horrible because it's like 12 o'clock at night but we're just wide awake so I was like we can go ahead and do our mommy tag. So let me pull it up. Well, the question's up on my phone. And, okay. So, the first question was, are you a stay-at-home or a working mom? Hold on. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> I am a stay-at-home mom at the moment because, um, first of all, I'm only 17. So if I'm working, it's going to be at McDonald's or Subway or whatever. So right now, Carly's dad financially supports us. So I don't have to worry about all that right now. I'm just focusing on finishing school and then I'll get an amazing job and be able to support me and her however far we have to go. So then it says, would you have it any other way? I mean, obviously, I wish that I didn't have to depend on anybody because... When me and him fight, it's like, damn, I do not want to talk to him. I do not want to tell him, oh, we have to go get diapers today, blah, blah, blah. But for the most part, I can handle it whenever me and him are on good terms. But of course, you know, you fight with your significant other and you just, you have that pride issue. So if I was older, I know I would already have my job situation ready. But I am grateful that I have somebody that will help me out because some of these dads out here are just worthless. So at least mine's worth just a little bit. Um, do you co-sleep? Yes. During my pregnancy, I was the firm, hard-headed, talking mom. I am not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to pick my baby up when she cries. She isn't going to sleep with me, blah, blah, blah. Since the first night I brought her home, she slept with me. And I honestly think it's because she stayed in the hospital two extra days and I had to be without her. And I was the most miserable, I mean, I just couldn't imagine having to be away from her. So when I got her, I didn't leave her side for like a week. I didn't want anybody's help, I just <laughs> kept her. And now, she does not want to be out of my bed. So, you see how my back is going to be in a couple of years. How many kids do you plan on having? Plan on... I don't plan on having any more. I just don't have the patience. Not that, because Carly is a good baby, but it's the patience for the finances and trusting people to take care of her. And I hate sharing her. And it's like, I just don't know. But I do, I will say, if I ever get married to her dad or any other man or however my life plans on working out, then. I do want a little boy, so I would try again for a boy or whatever, if it happened. Um, do you have a date night? Funny, because during, well before my pregnancy and during my pregnancy, every either Friday or Saturday night, me and her dad would get together and it would just be a normal fun night where we got together, cooked dinner, and watched like a few scary movies until we fell asleep. Like that was our date night because that's all I wanted to do because like I loved cuddling with him and stuff like that so we don't have time to do that anymore rarely I mean we have a few times since she's came but it's really not that much so you know I'm trying to situate her please hold on <laughs> she's just not having it okay um next child's favorite show well of course she's only two months old so she'll watch anything that moves and has color so really whenever like I'm getting dressed or something like that I'll sit her in the bouncer and let her sit in front of the TV and watch anything that's on at that moment in time so I can't really say till she's older what that'll be something you bought and never used Carly um I'd have to say say burp rags like I really thought I would need them but I mean I just use anything that's convenient at the time if I have a little blanket I'll wipe the little bit of you know bubbles she comes out but it's 
I never use birth bags. I have like a whole stack of them sitting over there. They're useless. Um, child's favorite food, obviously it's just her milk because that's all she can have. And I'm not one of those parents that like feed their children all the table food early because I mean there's a reason they have an age limit on that. So if you do do that, no offense, but I'm just saying rethink. Um, how many cars do you have in your family? Household, sorry. Um, we have two, but mine is not thriving at the moment because I have to put insurance on it. So as soon as I put insurance on it, which will be next month on my birthday, um, we will be driving two cars. As of now, I have my mom's and mine. Weight progress before, during, and after the pregnancy. Before the pregnancy, I was 122. Then during my pregnancy, I gained 20 pounds. Um, and I had a hard time even gaining that much. And then um, after my pregnancy, I went all the way back down. And I'm back down to my pre-pregnancy weight. So, I mean, weight really was not an issue for me. I'm just trying to tone up is all I'm focusing on because I'm not as skinny as I was. Family vacation you want to take your baby on. When I was seven years old, my whole family, including my grandparents, my mom, my cousins, my sisters, we all went on um, a trip to Orlando to go to Disney World. And um, I definitely want to be able to take Carly to experience that because that's my favorite childhood memory. So I want to take her to experience that when she's old enough to love it. Um, a dream vacation without baby. I'd have to say just, I wouldn't even want to go anywhere. I just want some time with her daddy by myself. Like, I love having her around, but I just want one night or one weekend where we can just spend together and it, it's like we're kids again and we wrestle and watch TV and pick up and go to the movies and like that's what I dream about I, I honestly do miss that so pregnant people get that out of the way like go enjoy every second I know you're big and you you're miserable because that's how I was but enjoy every second of your freedom because I miss it even though this is greater than anything you just miss your your person you know um how has life changed since baby was born obviously um it's just you can't do all the things that you used to do unless like you're a shitty mom like if you're the kind of young mom that hands your child off constantly and goes out and parties i look at you as a shitty mom i don't care whether or not you know you're like oh well, i'm with my baby most of the time no most of the time doesn't justify it like 99% of the time you should be with your baby you made it and that's how I feel so I don't go out um, I don't date obviously I'm just faithful to her dad um, I don't know it's, it's a lot that changes because responsibly you have to be able to know what you you can't go out and spend all your money on going out to eat on in dinners and and on makeup and clothes and stuff like that because there's things that you need so i mean little things like that are downer but you know whatever um finish this sentence it makes my heart melt to see honestly carly can't do too much now but every milestone that she's already had just makes me want to cry because it's like my baby's already getting too big <laughs> like when she first smiled that killed me I was I was like do it again do it again and when she um first started like holding her head up and I could like hold her like this like she's a big girl like little things like that are killing me but really the one that's going to get me is mama so I will update on that <laughs> um where do you shop for your baby the normal places like Walmart especially I always see little cute outfits there and I'll just pick them up and take them with me or once upon a child or Target just anywhere you know that we go and I see something cute I always end up spending on her so 
favorite makeup and skincare. I don't use skincare products. I just don't need to. Um, but my favorite makeup is CoverGirl because, I mean, that's the only product that I buy. It doesn't make me break out like some of the other products does. And um, that's all I use on my face is like that foundation. And then, of course, I use the um, mascara, eyeshadow, and lip stuff. So, um, Huggies or Pampers. Everybody loves Pampers, but I'm definitely a Huggies girl. Like, look. I don't know if you can see, but all of those in my closet. There's three boxes of Huggies and one box of Pampers. And I refuse to use the Pampers because I just don't. There's something I just don't like about them. I mean, of course, when I have to use them, I will. But I prefer Huggies because um, the Pampers are just made a certain way. So they, they're they made to fit, but then they grow out of them so fast because the Pampers are so small because they're made to fit. So I love Huggies. Um, what else? Have you always wanted kids? Yes. That's crazy because I'm just a kid myself, but I've known since I was little. Like, I used to play mommy, and, um, I've just known for a long time that I wanted kids. And I knew when I started failing in school and I started getting in all the trouble that a kid would save me. I didn't plan Carly at all. She came as a complete shock to everybody. But once... I was able to wrap my mind around having her and that she was coming anyway. I was like, this is the best thing that could have possibly happened because she gives me inspiration to finish school and she gives me inspiration to like, just want to do better, like, you know, just for myself. So I always knew I wanted kids and I probably will have more just because when she doesn't need me, I'm going to want somebody to need me. <laughs> best part about being a mom. Right now, I think the best part is just, you're never alone. I'm never by myself. Like, I can be in the most upset mood because I just fought with a family member, or I just got in an argument with her dad, or I just, I just lost a friend, or anything like that. And I can wake up and she's smiling, and that just makes me feel like nothing really matters other than her. So I'm never alone and I absolutely adore that fact. Like I'll, I'll never be alone again anytime I need her. She's right here. So next. Oh, that's all the questions that was on this mommy thing. So I would definitely make an updated one whenever she's a little older and I can say what her favorite show and her favorite food and stuff like that is. I'll probably do one like every few months. So. Just make sure that you catch those. And I'm going to um, do her two-month update tomorrow. Be I mean, what? Friday because she goes to the doctor and has to get her shots. So I'll do how she's doing and how much she weighs and all because she's a chunker. Right? So we will let you know and see you Friday.